It's a whole thing, right? <laughs> wow. So, wow, we're making money off these people that can't spend their money anywhere else. Neat. Yeah. And <laughs> never heard of that before. <laughs> well, and, and so like, yes, that is part of the conversation. When we get back to on the street policing, right? It's contextual, right? Yeah. Policing in Columbus, Indiana is different than policing in Chicago or LA mm. or these places where the federal government has said, been like, hey, you know what? You guys got a real problem, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think uh, one of the things that sometimes I hear is a confusion of the national conversation with my local conversation because people are very aware because the national conversation is televised and it's, in, it's like it sells things, right? Yeah. And so you hear about that a lot. And again, Again, I think that that national conversation is important. Mm -hmm. And um, doing this has like changed and shaped a few things about that for me, but I think it's still a thing that we need to have. And then, but then to also look at, well, locally, what are we doing? And so a lot of times people try to solve the national problem by putting the national problem on their local place, which is not always true. Right. Yeah. And so um, <laughs> <laughs> that's when you get cool parades. Uh, you know, <laughs> and here's the thing, uh, you know, I, I was actually out there as, you know, actually I was, I was told I had to go at uh, <laughs> a former, uh, a former place of employment for the day. <laughs> and so, you know, go out there and, but I get to hang out with, you know, a couple of my officers who are out there and they're like, no, this is great. This is yeah. like the thing that's supposed to happen is that people are supposed to be able to say the government needs to be held accountable mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at the same time. Um, you know, the, the blank all cops signs, it's like, uh, I had one of my officers- <laughs> Love all get, cops. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, love all <laughs> yeah. cops. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I had yeah. one of my officers like point out one of the signs- Leave all cops. I saved her kid last year. Yeah. Like I did CPR on her kid last year. And so it's like, one of those like, Dang. so, and again, cause again, like these yeah. are people in your community, right? Yep. Yeah. And so in this conversation, in this national conversation about law enforcement and, and whatnot, when we think about Columbus, so that's the place where I see the most, mm -hmm. right? Um, there are things that we can do and things that we are doing, right? So like Columbus has a voluntary uh, accreditation. So every police department has to be accredited by the state of Indiana and there's a whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But then uh, the city of Columbus and the Columbus Police Department have elected to go through what's called the CALEA certification, which I should know what those letters mean, but it's like really long and fancy. <laughs> you All told good. me them once before, and I don't remember them either. <laughs> yeah, I mean. It means it's too long. <laughs> it means get a better acronym. <laughs> I mean, the Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies. Mm. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Google. Um, <laughs> but this is a voluntary international organization that you can join. And so what that means is more oversight. It's uh, questions like every uh, two to four years. Can we make